There are the young calves there. These calves look very, fairly young, probably been raised for beef, ear tagged and kept confined like prisoners so people can eat their bodies. What is this? Yeah, looks like some vegans have already been here. Very good message. Yeah, we got some footage of the farms around here. Oh my god! How are you? That's a surprise! <laughs> you didn't know I was coming here. No, you didn't tell me. I know, I think I made about three stories about it, so how are you going? I know, yeah. Just tonight, we have to fly out tonight. That's good. Yeah. Thought we'd just come here and document the um, this big slaughterhouse, so. This is Lena. Yes. <laughs> She's an activist too. It's not fully operational, but no. they are killing. They are they already are like testing, like testing the. Gas yeah. I wonder how many gas chambers they've got in there. On the website, I wonder if they give us more information about the facility. Like, you're gonna sleep in your van? Yeah. Because what there exactly is, is that? There is like spring. Ah, uh, look. And if it's too tired, you can still loosen it. Thank you. Give us a hug. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You're welcome. I was like, I want one, but it has to be a pig. <laughs> she cut it off of her um, ankle. I don't know sometimes that time that you lose hope. Me? Yeah. I don't ever lose hope. No. Yeah, that's one thing that never happens to me. It gets hard. I get, I start to like, you know, feel down and. Because but, I mean, you've been into, I mean, you went inside your film just to a sort of house. Yeah. So I mean, that's like, wow. And sometimes just like. Situation yeah, I don't have time to lose hope. I'm always just, how can I, if I get feelings that make me feel sad or angry, I use that to, to keep fueling my activism. Like last night, I got a little bit pissed off a bit about the people, about my vegetarian post. So I just made a, use that as fuel to make a post for the dairy industry today. And I'll just focus on the dairy industry for a week. So it's like those, those emotions help drive your activism. What's the game plan? That's just a big, massive facility with one purpose, murder. You know, they put this little logo on the front there and completely closed off, there's no windows in. Interesting, there's no light going in there. They're not really advertising. I wonder how many countries this place is going to supply. It's just crazy numbers, like multiple gas chambers running at once, I would say. So once this is full up and running, this is gonna be the biggest Murder, murder factory, factory in Europe, in Europe. One, of one, of one of the biggest in the world. What did yeah, you just so do? Delfina and I, yeah. um, the organizers of Barcelona Animal Safe, we just went to speak to the security people here in the Soda House because we believe it's really important to build good relationships with them too because we're not against the workers, we're not against the people that work in these industries. We just, we're just here for the animals, we want to bear witness to the suffering and we don't want to, to for them to believe that we're against them or that we're going to trespass property because um, our movement is fully legal and we're just, we're just there to witness a historical, a historical like happening so yeah just for them to know that it's nothing against them it's just against the system it's just imagine the amount of animals coming out of that gas chamber being stabbed in the throat and hung up the workers wouldn't have time to like let that sink in mm -mm. you know and after a few days completely desensitized like that many animals so 
working together. Cool. Where are you from? I'm an Australian Australia. activist. Yeah. Australian. And what do I, what, why, 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 is why did I come here? Yes. Why you? Uh, I'm here to uh, shed some light to create some awareness about this slaughterhouse here, the largest slaughterhouse in Europe when it's open. So. And what is your job? Yet? Your My your job? job? Yes. My job is to expose animal agriculture to persuade the population, the public, to stop uh, consuming animal products. I imagine that you give support to these yeah, people. Yeah, we support each other. Foreign countries, no? Yeah, we, we all support each other and um, yeah, this is defend to animals defend animals. Be vegan. Yeah, if this you're not vegan, if you're not a vegan, you pay for these places to exist. So if you purchase animal products, you fund the murder of these innocent animals and most people care about animals, they care about their dog, they don't want to see animal cruelty, but when they purchase products with their blindfold on, they pay for the slaughter of innocent animals. Do you think there are more concepts uh, about the uh, animal care, yeah. animal safe, uh, yeah. and for to food? Well, this place here is a gas chamber. Mm -hmm. So if you see the footage of the pigs begging for mercy inside of a gas chamber, that might turn you off of your food. You might see instead of seeing food you see a gas chamber with pigs begging for mercy so showing footage to people video of what happens in there usually makes people want to be compelled to change and i have faith that most people care about what happens to animals so the movement is one of the largest growing movements on earth okay. these gas chambers are all over the world murdering pigs and otherwise it's electrical stun stab in the throat you know, just violence and human beings, I don't believe, but in their nature are violent. How many years are you vegan? Uh, six years. Six years? Yeah. And Completely you healthy. When you eat the uh, meat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel very, a lot of guilt about that. Oh, yeah. So now I spend my life trying to make amends for my past and I, I just want people to look inside of their heart instead of side of their head, yeah, you know. Yeah, the problems you had. Okay, but uh, uh, what about with your uh, vitamins, nutrients, B, D, B12? B12, yeah. 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 Uh, it doesn't how, make how sense to do me, it? it doesn't make sense to me to kill someone to okay. take the nutrients out of their body. You know, if we can get B12 from a supplement, why why not? Why stab a pig in the throat what and kill them? What kind of supplement that do you eat? Uh, me? I only, I only supplement with B12. Everything else my diet provides, as long as it's a balanced uh, whole foods diet, I get all of my nutrients and I do weight training. I don't have problems with my health. Um, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, the largest group of nutrition pr professionals on earth, they brought out a peer-reviewed statement saying that vegan diets are healthy for all stages of life. Uh, of life athletes, infancy, pregnant women, totally fine, as long as it's well planned. Do you eat animals? No. No, vegetarian? No, no, yes, I, I, I eat a little bit. Little bit? Little bit, yes. Not I, good? I reduce my, my... How do you feel about eating a little bit of animals? Yeah, this is the question. Yeah, yeah. but imagine if uh, everybody, everybody yeah. imagine. becomes to be vegan. This would be good. Yeah, no but, more slaughterhouse. But may, maybe uh, uh, the, the, our country not, can support that... Uh, uh, so you meant money uh, from animal do farmers? Think, do you think money is worth more than the life of animals? Yeah. You think money is worth more? Yeah. And yeah, but uh, imagine how many... How, what is the inversion of the... the you know, when, when there's plant-based uh, movement, they, it will open the door for new industry. Yeah. Yeah. So you really believe that money means more than the suffering of others? Yeah, yeah I understand. I understand. You understand? Yeah. Do yeah you I understand. Yeah. But uh, it's very difficult because uh, we have a A and D in the end in our body because we are eating a lot of time meat. This yeah. is the question. And you can change everybody. Yeah? It's yeah, very we can. difficult. We can. Yes, we can. We can. Yes, we can. We can. Most you, you care about animals, yeah? Yeah. Of yeah. Course. Have you seen Slaughterhouse? No, no, no. No, you haven't seen visual. No, no, no. this is my. This, this is the first is my, time. My, you know, this is the first I time. I wanted to go. You have seen the gas chamber. Let me show you. I'll show you what happens when they go inside of here. So this was in Australia. Um, so they go in here, and they go. The gas is at the bottom. This is in Australia. They go into the gas, uh -huh. and then you can hear them scream.
They scream. Son los gritos de... And more. They keep going. Sometimes they rip their own feet off because they're trying to escape. The same, the same, the same type of... Uh, gas chamber. Yes. This will be a gas chamber. Bigger. Una cámara de gas. They don't want to die. How can you get this, uh, this view? Activists leave camera. Uh -huh. Yeah. For 25 years, um, the industry was saying that they fell asleep quietly. Okay, so they lie to us. They lie to us to sell us products of violence. The industry could no longer call it humane. This is them struggling, suffocating. They burn from the inside out. Beautiful animals like dogs. Do you think a little bit of meat is okay for this? A little bit of gas chamber? A little bit of suffering and murder? When they come out the other side, they're stabbed in the neck. They're hung up, drained of their blood, and they're dismembered into pieces and sold off to people in the butcher supermarket, turned into bacon, ham. Thank you. No worries, yeah, it's really sad. So it's different when you see it, like you're explaining it to someone, it's not the same thing. It just doesn't do it justice until you see them struggling and hear them screaming and she's saying she only eats a little bit of meat, which a lot of people do say when they feel a little bit guilty, which I understand. But, you know, if everyone ate a little bit of meat, then we'd only have maybe what, half the amount of gas chambers operating, which would still be completely unjustified and unnecessary and cruel and violent and all of those things. So why? What, why a little bit? Why not just be a, why not just oppose animal exploitation in every area of your life where possible, you know? Did you get her face? Yeah, of course. Yeah, because she was like... She didn't, so yeah, I got that one. Yeah. yeah. You were exposing this place like before it opens. Big industry ties. Huge money in this place. So they wouldn't like it. Mm. They probably outlaid what... How many millions of dollars for this place? It's funny when people ask me what my job is. <laughs> What's your job? To expose places like this. <laughs> Close. We we really we really should make a move now because it's getting a bit late. Take care and keep on rocking. Of rocky. course, you too, brother. You yeah. too, of course. Yeah, we have a plane to catch. Well. Okay, yeah. so it's a shame that we have to leave. We have to get on the plane. I have a visitor coming to the UK, and we've got a lot of filming planned. But no trucks today. Apparently, they're coming in the morning. But we just wanted to come here, shed some light on this huge murder factory and, you know, uh, come here to boost the morale of the activists. And it was a good opportunity to talk to the media as well. I didn't realise they were going to be here and she saw the reality of a gas chamber and these seeds, they, they go far and they affect people for a long time to come. So we've got to get back to the UK and, you know, keep going.